So uh, today we're going to run Space War, which to me is like um, uh, we've reached a milestone when the machine can actually run Space War. So Space War was originally written for the PDP-1. You can see some videos online and stuff. This is a different version um, written for the PDP-12. Um, so we're going to kind of go from scratch. We're going to boot the machine um, and uh, Dawson will tell us about how that works and we're going to compile and run Space War and uh, we'll see it on the built-in uh, CRT here. So um, Dawson will hand me the camera and so tell us uh, how are we going to boot this thing? Um, well since I already booted OS8 earlier um, it's still in the core. Right, since and the core is non-volatile. Yep. And here's the uh, ignition. <laughs> so we've got the machine on. All right. And so the, the OS is still uh, in RAM essentially, right? Yep. And the magic instruction to uh, warm boot it is a 7605. So is that an instruction or an address? Or magic address. Okay, yeah, so, so you're so you punched in uh, 7605 here, and now you're going to start. start. Uh, okay, so that loaded the OS, or it executed yep. the... So that should have the OS... Uh, it's booted. Here. Now, yep. th those are some real boot times. Yeah. So now this machine here, we've kind of talked about this before, but this machine is essentially our teletype. Um, connected via serial uh, using some um, modern cards that a, a guy named Vince Slingstead built. Um, and it also serves as our hard drive, correct? Yes, um, we're actually running a program called OS8 Disk Server, um, written by Kyle Owens, um, who is actually, he's got his code up on GitHub. Cool. Uh, that's how I remembered, to, remembered how to run it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so we have the disk image already attached and booted. Um, okay. This was from the previous run. So this, sure. When I hit that address over there, red at block oh, seven. Oh, I see. So the on the right here, we've got the disk server. Yep. And that's using one of our serial ports. Yes. And this is our teletype, essentially. Yep. Um, so, yeah, Dawson, you were just saying, what what's this output here that we're seeing? Oh, so that is... Uh, Everything up here is from the previous attempt, and right. then this was uh, actually shutting the machine off. Okay. Um, and then this was when I started at that magic address over there. Oh, cool. Uh, okay. So the dir command on this image does not work right now. We're not really sure why. Yeah, I'll dig into that. But uh, Space War works. Okay. If we tell it to execute spcwr3, it will now compile. It's loading from the disk and it's compiling and we see the, the fun blinking lights in here and uh, of course we talked about how the speaker clicks when certain um, a certain bit in the accumulator is uh, one um, so here we're loading blocks off disk and compiling and that clicking is the sound of our oscilloscope and we have space war. Let's turn off these lights. Oh, cool. Okay, so how are you controlling that? Uh, so it's these first four over here or the last four over here for your player okay. two. Um, so you can rotate and uh, turn on your rocket engines while avoiding the uh, hole in the middle there. I think that's supposed to be a star. Oh, yeah. Because it's a gravitational field. Oh, and you... you and the only way to actually reset, as far as I can tell, is to run into the star. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can warp. Okay, so that's another button. I was going to say, that's... I know traditionally that was part of space war. Oh, um, and that's if you hit both of your rotating switches at the same time. Okay. So if you warp enough, you'll probably crash into the star in it. Probably. There we go. Nope. Yep. Nope. Okay. Want to go and reset. Oh, 
Otherwise, you'd have to reset from the teletype. Yeah. There we go. Oh, good job. Okay, so which but which buttons do I use? So you would use these four here at the end. These four. These four up here. Okay. Yep. So the middle two rotate, and the first one will uh -oh. uh, actually move you. Oh, and I have to like turn it on and off. Yep. I just died, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so the middle two... Ah. Oh boy. And which one shoots? Uh, the last one. What's the first one do? Uh, your, your rockets, your thrusters. Oh. So it plays kind of like asteroids. Oh yeah. Oh, I died again. So we can keep ourselves warm by the glowing lights down here. Yep. All right. Oh, oh boy. I'm not good at this. Oh, this the star destroys bullets. Interesting. Huh. I guess I have to die now. Oh, so as long as I keep that those down, I'm nowhere. Yeah, pretty much. Interesting. better in real life. I've been, I'm actually, I was playing looking at the camera. Oh, we crashed. Awesome. Well, uh, that space war, so I, I had the lights off here so we could see what we were doing. So let's look at the controls again. So I was using these four, which is essentially setting these four bits in memory, in some particular memory address, right? Mm -hmm. And you were using these four? Yep. So uh, these two switches were rotation in one direction or the other direction, or if they're both on, or both on, rather, I would teleport. Um, and this was fire uh, my rocket engines and this was to actually shoot okay so now I'm oh we crashed <laughs> anyway so uh, do you know if this version of space war has options for uh, running or not not as far as I know there might be something in the source okay um, I haven't managed to get the source open yet so sure okay well a, a classic element of space war was the star field uh, oh, in the background, yeah. and this one doesn't have a star field, of course. Um, so I wondered if maybe that was a, you know, an option you could enable or something like that. I'll have but, to see if I can edit the source code. Yeah, or maybe it depends on the setting of certain parameters. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, so space war, pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you, Dawson, and uh, until next time. Uh, Stay tuned.